Hey, what's up y'all? Today we have two shoes that we're actually gonna be knocking out. We're gonna have to resole them. The customers brought them in to have them resold. But while I've got them open, I'm gonna show you the insides of those. They're both for Alden. And I, after I've got them all resold, I'll show you the, you know, the after results. But I just wanted to take the opportunity to, while I've got them in the store to talk about the construction. Like I said, they're both from Alden. Uh, one of them is a contract shoe that was made by Alden for Old School Clothing Company. You know, there's a blast from the past. Uh, the other one is a shell cord of loafer. And um, the brown, this is the contract shoe, the shell cord of shoe. And uh, let's get started. All right, guys, so we have sliced the soles off of both of those pair. And I'm starting to see a little pattern here with uh, with these Aldens, and you've heard me say it before on um, other videos, but here is the block for the uh, the old school contracted Aldens, and um, no stack leather. And when I say that, it's got layers. It's got layers, except leather. When you look at a stack leather, you're going to have thick layers going all the way across. You can't take one of those thick chunks and just peel it apart. It'll peel where one of the lines is, but if you take one of those chunks, that itself can't be peeled apart. Say, use this as an example. This is off of a Thursday boot. This is just one of their layers, and you can't get it and peel it apart. This is a chunk of leather board that we had in our collection, and it just peels apart. Same thing with the hill block on those. So what about the Shell Cordovan? Now this shoe is a $750 shoe, same thing. Very disappointed in the hill block, but Alden itself, the shoes are very good. The uppers, should we say, are very good, and the general construction of the shoe is very good. Now which I also saw on Alden was the hill block, when you pop it off, this little piece right here, and see it's just crumbling. It was majorly glued down. It's actually made the ran here, or the, um, some people call it the, the block lift, or it makes a little horseshoe thing, and it was just, it was just crumbling. So this guy's gonna have to get some, some new blocks anyways. That's, that's another downside to using this stuff is it can just, I mean, it's, it cracks very easily. I like leather, it's a lot more pliable. So let's get the rest of the shoe. Aldens that are very, I mean, that's just kind of the standard for them. One is the shank. You can never fault them for going cheap or going weak on their shanks. These things are wide, they're metal, they're robust. And let's see, uh, this one needs to be glued back down. It is behemoth. So good on that. Something else I want to point out that's pretty standard on Aldens is the stitch width. They're, they're very tight. And you've heard me say it before, but there's no real reason to use a lot of glue when you're attaching your, uh, your sole. You let the stitches do the work. And if the stitches are real wide, then when you wear through them, there's a greater chance that your sole is going to start to fall off. But these soles on Aldens will hold on for a long, long, long time. On this pair right here, the cork was getting real dry rotted and, and needed to be replaced anyways. And so when I pulled it out, you can see that their footbed is completely covered in canvas. And so what's different than this, than you see in most, um, Allen, I mean, Allen Edmond or most good your welted shoes, is the only place that you'll actually see a lot of uh, canvas is just right here along the edge. It's kind of a serrated strip of canvas and the rest is the leather. But unfortunately what happens a lot of time is that canvas starts to come unglued and then that's when the rib can start to sh shift or collapse. They completely cover it and then they stitch it on top of that. So there's no way that this is gonna come undone, this rib. And I mean, if you wore all the way through it and the stitches, I mean, it's just completely blew it out, then yeah, it wouldn't be a feasible rib anymore. But how they do it, it's one solid piece. That's very, very good construction. And um, point out on the, on the inside, the footbed is all leather as well. So kind of like an Allen Edmond, your, your foot is resting on solid leather. And then on the bottom side of that leather is where they completely cover it in canvas and stitch their ribs on 
and stitch the welt on. All right, so we've got those shoes all put back together. This was a short video because obviously we had to get them back out to the customer, but while I had them in my hands and while I could take them apart, I just wanted to share a little bit about those two pair of Aldens with you and what I thought about the inner workings of the shoe. Uh, obviously, there's a lot more good to say about Alden than there is negative. I mean, it's just one of those classic all-American. It's one of the last few brands that are actually made here in the States. And um, they're just known for being real old school and they do make a very good quality shoe. So here are my pluses for a pair of Aldens. For one, remember the shank, the shank was very robust. It's not going anywhere. Uh, it, to get those things to break, it's, it's pretty darn tough. The stitch density of the shoes is very good. It's gonna hold on the sole really well. The uppers, incredible, especially their shell cordovan. I mean, those are bringing those from Horween, best shell cordovan in the world. The calf skin is very good. Uh, they use leather uh, footbeds. I, I really about the only really negative that I can really think of was strictly the the stacked heels being made out of pressed um, leather board, but they are still stacked and they are still made well. So we can we can work with that. I would just prefer strictly to have leather for the price point, but overall very 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 good shoe and well made so i hope this video helped for, especially for those who had questions about alden or for those people who were just diehard alden fans there you go uh, just my two cents but like i said i do hope it helped y'all if you like this we'll probably have some more aldens coming in the future and we'll do some more videos over those but we appreciate any subscriptions you can give to us tell your friends and hit the like button thanks till next time